Hey there, it's Christina. Welcome to my video and to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new and if you're already subscribed, welcome back. In tonight's video, I am going to show you how to update your theme in Kajabi because I actually have to do that for a client. So I thought that I would make a video to um, help some other people. If you um, have an outdated theme, they're always adding new stuff and sometimes it's theme dependent and we have to make this change um, to get all the new features. So I'm making this uh, in early November 2018. You want to go to this website right here, learn.kajabi.com and type in how to update <clears throat> theme. Okay. And you're going to follow these directions, but there's directions for three different kind of themes. So in Kajabi, there's a theme for your website. Let me just put this up here a little bit. You have a theme for your website. You have a theme for your product and you have a theme for landing page. Now, um, there's a whole variety of different themes which you could choose. Uh, and they all vary in their design and their functionality, but a lot of people use Premiere um, for all three of these themes because it's the most flexible and the most versatile theme. It's really easy to use. It's, it has like a drag and drop editor. There's a lot of page blocks and elements of things you can put onto your page. And um, so that's why you'll hear a lot of people on um, favoring that one. Okay, so tonight I'm actually going to be updating a website theme. So you, you know, click that and it'll take you right to the portion um, the, of this document, the help document, where it'll tell you how to do this. Now, um, I just wanted to show you where this is as a reference. And um, Kajabi uses these looping GIFs to show you how to do it. And for some people who are not, you know, who are new to this, it might be going too fast. So that's why I'm going to do a tutorial so that you can pause this and open up your Kajabi in an adjacent window and do it step by step. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to my Kajabi site. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is go to website. Because remember, we're updating the website theme. We're not updating the product theme and we're not updating the landing page theme in this example. It is very similar, but we're doing website theme. Okay, so here's the website. You wanna to go to manage themes, click that. And here is our active theme. Um, you can tell because it has a blue button that says live. It's the first one in the row and it's bolded. And then it'll just give you, um, you know, the dates that it was created and last updated. Um, so as you can see, I created it in July, last updated the theme on August 20th. So it's now almost mid-November. So it's a good time to update it. Um, okay, so first of all, we're going to leave this here. And we're going to go up here to the top right corner and pick a theme. I'm going to pick the same one, Premiere, but as you can see, there's, there's other ones here. I want this one. And then I'm going to say install theme. And it's going to do its stuff with this. Uh, see, it didn't even take very long. All right. Now we have, you know, a freshly installed theme. It's November 7th. Um, it's not active. You can see it's sort of, you know, it's not bolded. So now what we want to do is we want to go into the one we have, which we have all this data on. So you go over here to this three dots and click that and edit the code. <clears throat> now we're not really editing the code. We just need to access the code. So once you do this, um, I already had it expanded, but let me close it up. So it, there's a menu over here on the left for your Premiere site. You want to go into the config folder, click that, and then you want to click on settings underscore data dot JSON. Okay, now 
you want to put your cursor into the body of the source code. Now, the more uh, that you've built out your site, there's going to be lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of lines of code. I have about 550 lines of code. Now, put your cursor in here and do a control A. You see how that shaded it all? Okay, we want to grab this and now we want to do a control C on your keyboard to um, copy it. You don't want to cut it because you want to leave it here. Do not cut it, just copy it. It's important, okay? So I, I did a control C. It's on my clipboard. Can't see that. But now I'm going to go back, click Appearance, and I'm going to go back to the freshly installed theme. Come over here to the far right and click the three little dots, and you want to edit the code of the new theme. Go over here to the left menu under that config file, and then under settings underscore data dot JSON. Okay, and as you can see, there's not a lot here because it's a new theme. So we want to delete this, delete everything. It's a brand new fresh slate canvas. And now you want to do a control V and that put all of that code, you see all 540 or 50 lines of it in here. Okay. And now you want to save. Click the blue button. Don't forget to save. And then what you want to do is you want to preview it. Okay. All right, so it should look exactly the same, but it's going to have, um, move myself out of the way here. Whoops. How did I get two of me? I don't know. It's distracting. Let's just hide this menu. Um, anyway, this is his website. It's going to look the same, but the, um, the features are different. So that's just, um, we know it's there. All right, so now what you want to do, <clears throat> we've already saved it. We've previewed it. Um, click on Appearance to go back. And as you can see, we have both copies now. So um, what you want to do is go over here and activate the new theme, the November 7th theme. And now the new one is active. And the old one is still here, okay? We can always go back to it if we realize something was a mistake. 